John Fetterman did it again, showed up with the president of the United States in sweats, shorts, high top basketball shoes, mangled every word that came out of his mouth. And nobody seems to be complaining that he can barely talk. We have a video. Let's go to Pennsylvania. As we know, uh, John Fetterman, uh, Uncle Fester, got elected after a stroke. He could barely talk. Um, didn't go to work for months and months and months because he was depressed and went to the hospital instead. He's now out of the hospital, but he shows up <laughs> <laughs> in his hoodie and his short pants and his tennis shoes with no socks, like he's going to play hoops with the boys down at the schoolyard. But you got to see his speech with Biden next to him. You know the movie Dumb and Dumber? Watch and Dumber. And Dumb, Dumber. Dumb and Dumber. Yeah. Watch, watch this speech. <laughs> this, if this video plays, you won't believe it. A little over a year ago, a little over a year ago, the president and I were standing right next to each other at a collapsed bridge in Western Pennsylvania, a bridge that I drove over just the night before with my young son. And he showed up with just hours, hours after that, br that bridge collapsed there. And he promised to make sure that any resources that they needed and any help and support. And guess what? And guess what? That, that, that bridge was rebuilt. Less than a year, well, well, well on the front, front of, of time. time. And, 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 and now, now I'm standing, I'm standing next to uh, the president again, next to a, a collapsed bridge here. And he is here to commit to work with the, the governor and the, the, the delegation to make sure that we get this fixed quick, fast as well, too. This is a president that is committed to infrastructure. Yeah, and then on top of that, uh, the, the jewel uh, when I, I kind of a uh, uh, law of the inflation uh, bill that is going to make sure that there's going to be bridges all across like this all across the America getting rebuilt. It's a pleasure to be here and to introduce my my friend Congressman Boyle Bile. Oh my God! <laughs> Let's start with the last line. His good friend, Congressman Boyle Bile, is really named Brendan Boyle. Um, it's not infrastructure, it's infrastructure. And on and on and on. The man is so incapable, Will Johnson, of speaking. Hmm. He should not be in the U.S. Senate in charge of billions of dollars in the security of the United States. Do you have any disagreement with that? Not at all. But you know the biggest thing out of that video, Barry? is Joe Biden. <laughs> Joe Biden sitting there cringing himself like, oh, my goodness, I can't believe this. And it's, the crazy thing is Joe Biden probably understands everything that he's saying. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> he probably I get everything that you're saying, but I still like you're stupid. You're still an idiot. But yeah, I get it. I get it. You know, it's it's so crazy. It's so crazy. And of course, he's standing next to a collapsed bridge that they're trying to fix. <laughs> I don't think there's any fixing Joe. <laughs> well, look, the man can't talk. Joe Biden can't talk. Neither no, one of them can even read a teleprompter. <laughs> right. Remember, they said that they refused to let Fetterman debate during the Senate race because they said he got confused by questions. And he couldn't read a teleprompter. And he couldn't hear the questions because his brain doesn't auditorially compute a logical answer to what he listens to. But he is in the United States Senate defending our country in charge of billions of dollars, in charge of the border, in charge of protecting us against fentanyl, in charge of protecting us against China, handling the Ukraine war. O-M-G. Yeah. Well, yeah. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. It's. I've said it multiple times before. They can care less if you're 100 percent brain dead in a coma, just long as you can occupy the seat. There is weekend is weekend at Fetterman's, right? <laughs> <laughs> they can care less. 
weekend at Biden's. Long as long as you can occupy it, we'll do the rest. Don't worry about it. And you know what's really scary? You know what's really, really scary? He was voting absentee. They were taking his vote somehow while he was in the hospital. That's my point. In cases. That's my point. They, they can care less. You can be brain dead and they'll still vote for you. You're, you're still voting. Look, Barry, they get these people that have been under the ground pushing up Daisy for 20 plus years and somehow miraculously they can go out and vote too. So how is it? That, how do we think that Fetterman won't be able to? I mean, he still has a, you know, somewhat of a heartbeat going. So, of course, they're going to have him vote. I mean, you're pushing up but, daisies, you get the vote. But couldn't they at least put him in long, big boy pants? You know, I, I, I don't I don't get that either. You know, I don't he get went that to either. the Senate on his first day back. We showed the video a month ago. He got out of the limo wearing the same sweatshirt, the same baggy shorts, the same high top basketball shoes and stumbled into the Senate. Remember? Yeah. Dressed yeah. like that. Yeah. Yeah. There's no self-respect. He has no respect for the office. He has no respect for the country. He doesn't. He's like, look, people, I'm here just because and there's nothing you can do about it. Well, no wonder his wife took the kids and went to Canada for vacation. She had to escape. <laughs>